All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a winter cardinal. So let's get going. All right, so I found this tutorial of how to draw a winter cardinal online and it's right here. Um, it has nine steps, it looks like, and from there, I think we should edit a tad bit to make it look more like our own and make it a little more advanced so it doesn't look so generic shaping looking like. I don't know how to call that, but anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys how I would do it and we'll go from there. Alright, so let's just do the top part of the bird, which is right here. Nice big, nice big, and then it looks like I need room for the tail. So I'm glad I didn't pencil because it looks like this has to be a smaller and a little bit up higher. So um, let me just take a better eraser here. Have my kneaded eraser. And the reason why I use a kneaded eraser is because it doesn't leave any residue, like any like eraser dust, and it le it actually gets really in there and erases really well. So if you can try to get yourself a kneaded eraser, those things are awesome. All right, so let's start over again. I think uh, the shape of the body should be up a little bit higher and enough room for the tail. So let's try to skip ahead, try to see what other things that we might need to do to save room. All right, so it looks like we need room for the tail also. All right, so let's put the head right about here and the body right here, just like so. And then let's do the tail. So here's the tail. And then I'm just going to kind of create this kind of shape for now. I'll do the bottom part of the tail later. Let's try to make a scoopy motion like that. All right, next up is the wing. The wing's kind of like making a teardrop from here to there, just like this. All right, and then next up is the feet. I don't think you should do the feet next, though. I think you should do the branch next. Um, but it looks like they did the beak first. So let's try to do the beak. Um, so the beak's right around here. That. And then a part for the eye. Oh, let's see what blank right there. And then the branch. Looks like the branch is right over here behind everything. Just like so. Alright, so I think that's gonna be like the basics of my bird. I think I'm pretty confident in doing it in permanent marking it. So let's get going. Alright, I'm gonna change the head up a little bit by kind of making it swoosh back a little. Just like so. And then I can raise that part later. Um, for the inside of the head, I think I might want to go up and just zigzag down a little bit like that. And come back. Um, I'll make kind of like a dot for the eye. There we go. And then for the beak, I'm going to make a two part beak. So maybe make it look like this. And then the bottom part of the beak. So instead of having it just one shape, I'm going to do two shapes right there. All right, the bottom part, I think I'm going to go like this. And then make his belly go out a little bit. Zigzag down a little bit. And then kind of go back towards his butt. There you go. And then for the wing, um, I think I'm just going to go from here. I'm going to kind of make a zigzag as I get closer to the bottom right there. And then on the top, I'm just going to kind of swoop down like this instead. There we are. All right, for the tail, I'm going to go from here, so down, and then following this kind of pattern shape I have over here. There you go. I'm just going to kind of do my own type of design. There we go. And a couple lines, maybe two or three. Or four. <laughs> All right. And then from there, I think I'm going to do the feet attaching to the branch. So maybe I'll put like this. Just kind of grab it on. And then another foot, probably right around here. There we are. <laughs> it looks like it's leaning forward a little bit. I don't know if I like this. All right, uh, it is what it is. All right, let's try to do the branch here. All right. And you can kind of freeform the type of branch that you want. There we are. All right. Let's add another branch in the back to add more depth. Here we go. There's another branch. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add some hills in the background to symbolize the snow. And I'm pretty confident to do this in marker. 
And then I'm going to add maybe a couple hills here. Or kind of spiky lines. Symbolize trees. There we go. There we go. And then I think I'm pretty much done. So before I start to get coloring, and so it makes more sense, um, I think I'm going to erase a lot of my pre-sketched drawings. So I'm just going to glide my eraser over the whole entire drawing here. Just like so. And now it's nice and clear and clean. So now I can start to color. Alright, let's start off with the lighter colors first as always. So my yellow is going to go towards the beak and the feet. So here's the feet. And here is the beak. And then my next color I'm going to choose is probably going to be the uh, grass behind in the back. Here we go. It's going to go on the very tops of them. It's going to go down slightly here and there. There we go. Behind the legs over here. By the twigs here. All right, we're almost done with this portion of the drawing. And then for the bottom half, I think I'm going to do a green, darker green, I should say. And right, I'm going to go upwards. I think it kind of creates a nice kind of cool texture in the background. I'm not sure if it's going to look good or not, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to go like this. Let's try to avoid the branch. Let's go up again over here. Alright. Okay. Let's add the red on the bird. Let's go over here on the tail first. Like so. Alright, let me do the top of the head. Okay. Top of the head is all done. And then let's do the wing. It's okay if it's a little messy. And then let's do beside the face again and the back of the body or the stomach. Nice and clear with my lines. It's okay if it's a little messy. There we go. Let me do uh, the branches next. Getting closer to our darker colors here. And I think I'm gonna leave a little bit of white on the branches. Just like so, just to symbolize maybe some snow probably going on in the branch. There we go. Alright. And then finally we shall do the sky and the around the eye. So let's do the sky first. Um, I think we're gonna go um, left to right, so we're going to make it um, horizontal. So I'm going to go where the hard parts of the color is first. So around here, up higher, try to outline the bird a little bit so it's nice and clean. Maybe outline the branch as well. There we are. That one the edge a little bit, I guess. All right, let me start from the face. Don't want to hit the beak or else it's going to turn like a green color. There we go. Alright, I am smearing it with my palm a little bit. <laughs> but, um, try to be careful of smearing your markers if you choose to do marker. And we're almost done here. Let me outline the rest of the bird so I don't hit it. If you hit your bird with the incorrect color, that's fine. Alright, so this half is done. Let's move on to the other half, and then our drawing should be done. All right, almost there. All right, the sky's done. We only have one step left. That's inside the face. So let's make this portion black. Like so, right here and right there. All right, and there we go. That is my winter cardinal. Um, I do think uh, the tutorial one probably looks better. 
I tried to do something different, so I don't know which one you like. But anyways, uh, that's it. Um, you could have added snow in the sky. I chose not to. Um, I guess you could go back with uh, white crayon and stuff like that. Uh, and that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.